hello and welcome back everyone so in this tutorial we are going to see how to execute hive queries uh, using PySpark basically in the last uh, tutorial we have seen how to create the spark session and how to use it and in this particular tutorial we are going to see how to execute the you know basic hive queries uh, using the you know your PySpark or Python uh, application so uh, till creating the spark session it is uh, everything is going to remain the same as you can see on the screen uh, here on the line number one uh, we have uh, imported the Py PySpark SQL uh, the spark session uh, module and using this particular uh, code we have basically you know created this spark session yeah so this code is always going to remain the same there won't be any changes here and what we need to do is now we need to use this spark session dot sql and you know you just write here it's not needed so let's skip this and here you just create you know uh, whatever query that you want to execute right so basically let's say i wanted to create the table yeah so i'll say create table uh, maybe PySpark demo table and you know let's create let's just give some sample columns uh, here like for example int id int first name string last name string just four few columns uh, just to you know basically execute and then uh, you know this is what so basically there is no python specific thing when you are writing the actual query it is all your hive skills whichever query that you wanted to write it has to be a valid query yeah that that is only kind of a you know uh, take care that we need to you know basically you know be sure about that this this is the right query otherwise it is gonna throw an error so this is what uh, you make sure you are writing the you know correct query with syntax and uh, everything and then just let's run this particular program yeah. so it will first create the spark session and it will try to execute this create table query that we have written uh, by spark demo table with uh, whatever columns that we have created it says process finished with exit code zero that means it is a successful execution and now what we can do is we can just log into our uh, hive terminal and can just check if i just run show tables here then i should have this pi spark demo table that's been created and if i just describe this for you then we have given three columns here one is id first name last name and we have the table created id first uh, id as int first name as string and last name as string so this is how we can uh, basically uh, you know create the tables now let's say uh, let me show you a couple of more queries uh, say we have this emp table right so if i just run select star from emp let's see uh, what it gives okay i think it is it has some error but that's fine what we'll do is we'll try to you know basically run the select star from emp query in the pi spark yeah so i'm just replacing the query with uh, spark session dot sql select star from emp here i'll just uh, write this show so that it will display the results on the screen so that is the one and make sure again you we have we have we have a right query given and let's run this program so again it will create the spark session and it will try to execute the select star from emp query in, uh, in the hive so let's see what it outputs here okay so as you can see it has outputted these four records uh, and this is what uh, the information that we have like id name salary and department these were the things that that were present here so if i just do describe on emp then id name salary department these are the columns that it has 
and uh, you know this is how it displays the output so it is exactly same uh, as that of you know your hive queries output that you will get on the hive terminal but here we are displaying it here uh, by using or by executing the query using spark session and uh, this is a by spark concept or program that you will see so i hope uh, you you'll find this useful and you'll be able to you know use it uh, wherever you will need this so thanks guys thanks for watching this tutorial and don't uh, forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you in the next one